Creating and managing a part library and verifying components can take a lot of time and effort. ORCAD X Capture CIS includes a workspace environment to quickly manage and add components to a cloud-based part library. This quick how-to will provide step-by-step -step instructions on how to add components to the cloud workspace in ORCAD X Capture CIS. With a schematic opened, select Place Component from the menu. Unified CIS opens with access to included libraries, as well as Ultralibrarian, Symaxis, and Snap EDA to find verified components and models for your designs. There's also a Workspaces category that provides access to cloud part libraries. First, let's create a new component category. Right-click on My Workspaces and select Add Category. Enter a name for the category and select the part type as either electrical or mechanical. Click the plus icon for the properties to add a standard property for any component added in the category. Double-click the name cell and enter the desired property. Select the drop-down list for visibility on schematic and select Value. This will display the value of the annotated property on the schematic. From the Value Type drop-down list, select Numeric. Complete this process for all desired component properties, as this configuration will be used as a template for any components added to the category. This will create consistency for required properties in your library. Select the Models tab to configure a default symbol and footprint for the category. When the desired properties have been configured, select Save. The category is added under the workspaces. Next, let's use this category to add a component to our library. Right-click on the category and select New Component to create a component based on the selected category. Enter a part number for the new component. Under Lifecycle, select In Development from the drop-down list. The previously defined properties are shown in the template. Double-click the value cell for a field and enter the corresponding value for the component. When finished, select Save to add the component to your library. This component can then be linked to manufacturer parts using the integrated data from Ultralibrarian, Symaxis, or Snap EDA. Select Ultralibrarian from the categories. Ultralibrarian can be searched by part number, keyword, or description. Select a component to view the part properties, symbol, and footprint. When the desired component is selected, right-click and select Link to Part. A pop-up window will appear with the required next steps. Click OK. Select the corresponding component category in My Workspaces and clear the string in the search bar. The newly created part is shown. Right-click on the part and select Link MPN. In the pop-up window, review the populated information. Check the box next to Properties and click Save. The manufacturer information has been added to the part. New components can also be added directly into your libraries. Select Ultralibrarian from the categories. Search for the desired component and view the results. Right-click on the desired search result and select Add to Library. The component is downloaded from Ultralibrarian. When the download is complete, the component window opens with the parametric data and information pre-populated. Under Lifecycle, select Active and select the desired component category. Select the properties to include with the component. Select the Models tab and click to select the Symbol checkbox to associate the provided model with the part in the library. Then select Save. Under My Workspace, select the corresponding component category to view the newly added part. To place the component in the schematic, right-click the component and select Place. Click to place the component in the schematic and then press Escape on the keyboard when finished. If you're collaborating with team members using a shared workspace, parts can be promoted to be accessed by all users. To promote a library component, right-click on the desired part in your workspace and select Publish. In the Publish Parts window, select the desired workspace from the drop-down selection to publish the part. Configure the revision as minor or major, add comments as required, and select Publish. During this process, other options are available to lock the component to prevent modifications and delete the component from your workspace upon publishing. The part has been added to the shared library for all team members to access and use in their designs.
Workspaces help you efficiently create and manage component libraries for your designs, as well as improve collaboration with team members with ORCAD XCAPTURE CIS. For more tutorials, visit us at resources.ema-eda.com. And don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.